Fork from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. HTTP en.wikipedia.org As a cultry or kitchenware, a fork is a tool consisting of a handle with several narrow tines, usually two to four, on one end. Forks are used to move or hold pieces of food in place. The fork is sometimes referred to as the king of utensils. Originally, the fork was used as an eating utensil, primarily in the West, whereas in East Asia, chopsticks were more prevalent. Today, however, forks are increasingly available throughout East Asia as well. The utensil, usually metal, is used to lift food to the mouth or to hold food in place while cooking or cutting it. Food can be lifted either by spearing it on the tines or by moving it on top of the fork and holding it atop the tines horizontally. To allow this spoon-like use, the tines are often curved slightly upwards. Section 1. History it is a myth that the fork was introduced in the West during the Middle Ages, as the Romans used forks for serving. Before the fork was introduced, many Westerners were reliant on the spoon and knife as the only eating utensils. Thus, people would largely eat food with their hands. Members of the aristocracy would sometimes be accustomed to manners considered more proper and hold two knives at meal and use them to both cut and transfer food to the mouth. The fork was introduced in the Middle East before the year 1000. The earliest forks usually only had two tines, but those with numerous tines caught on quickly. The tines on these implements were straight, meaning the fork could only be used for spearing food, and not for scooping it. The fork was a great development in that it allowed meat to be easily held in place while being cut. The fork also allowed one to spike a piece of meat and shake off any undesired excess of sauce or liquid before consuming it. By the 11th century, the table fork had made its way to Italy by the way of the Byzantine Empire. In Italy, it became quite popular by the 14th century, being commonly used for eating by merchant and upper classes by 1600. The fork's arrival in Northern Europe was more difficult. It was first described in the English by Tom Coyrat in a volume of writing on his Italian travels, 1611, but for many years it was viewed as an unmainly Italian affection. Some writers of the Catholic Church expressly disapproved of its use, seeing it as an excessive delicacy. God in his wisdom has provided man with natural forks, his fingers. Therefore it is an insult to him to substitute artificial metallic forks for them while eating. It was not until the 18th century that the fork became commonly used in Great Britain. It was around this time that the curved fork used today was developed in Germany. The standard four-tine design also became current at this time. The three-pronged variety is known as a trident, or more whimsically, a threek. The 20th century also saw the emergence of a runcible spoon, popularly referred to as a spork, a utensil that is half fork, half spoon. With this new fork spoon, only one piece of cultry is needed when eating, so long as a knife is not required. The back of the spork is shaped like a spoon, and can scoop food while the front has a few tines like a fork to poke at food's substance, making it convenient and easy to use. Section 2. Types of Fork Baby Fork Beef Fork Berry Fork Cheese Fork Carving Fork Cold Meat Fork Dessert Fork Dinner Fork Dropped Fork Fish Fork Game Fork Ice Cream Fork Joint Fork Nork Lemon Fork lettuce fork, meat fork, olive fork, oyster fork, pastry fork, pickle fork, pie fork, ramkin fork, relish fork, salad fork, sardine fork, shrimp fork, spork, steak fork, tea fork, and vegetable fork. This sound file and all the text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.